Good morning, everyone. Myself, Mulli Reddy. In this video, we are going to discuss in the book, installation of Jenkins using Jenkins Warfare. We can download the Jenkins Warfare and we can install directly. Let's see the demo, how we can do it. As I said, like we can install multiple ways, right? One is using M command. Also, we can directly run the Jenkins Warfare and also we can deploy the Jenkins in Tom Cannon and we can up and running, right? And also we can run as a container also, okay? In this video, we are going to uh, install using Jenkins Warfare. We can run the particular Warfare. We can install the particular Jenkins, okay? Let's see the demo. For that one, uh, we we'll, we are going to install the LTS version. LTS is nothing but long term support. The version is 2.361.4. Okay. So and one more thing here, uh, I have already created the server Linux server and also I have connected. I given the server name is Jenkins Jenkins server. Okay. So first we have to install the Java. If you are going to install the LTS version 2.361.4, the Java version required is OpenJDK 11. Okay. So that I'm going to install this one. Okay. Install it. Now, if you see here, we are using Amazon Linux, right? They are having their own uh, command. We are going to use that command to install Java. Now, if you, if you see here, now it is going to install the Java. Find it, got it, right? Now, what we will do? We will be download the Jenkins Warfare and we can uh, run uh, that particular Warfare directly. But usually, it is not recommended to use in real time also. In real time, we won't use. But some of the use cases in interview level, they may ask, can we run uh, Jenkins Warfare directly install? Yes, we can. Okay. First, I'm checking here Java F1 version. Now, if you see here, open JDK 11. Okay. What I'm doing here, go to the Google. If here you can type it here, Jenkins War download. Okay. Now, if you click this here, it will be showing like Jenkins.war. Just click this one. What is the LTS version? We can search here 2.361.4, right? If you see here, this is the LTS version. Just copy link address. Okay. Now we can download. Currently, I'm in OPT root directly. Double get. I'm downloading the particular Jenkins for file. Okay. If you observe here, it is downloading. Okay. It may take a little bit time because it is uh, total having 18 MB. Okay. Uh, if you see here Jenkins Warfare downloaded, give the LL command. Now, what I'm doing here, I'm going to run this uh, Jenkins Warfare directly. How we can do Java if and jar, okay, Jenkins.war. Okay, and I'm running this command in I mean in background. I'm giving the under. If you give under, what will happen? It will run as a background. Okay, just enter. Now it is going to run. Okay, if you see here, this dot Jenkins is a path. And to come here one by one. Now you can see here. Yeah, if you see here the token ID, right? This is the token ID. When you installing a particular Jenkins, we will we have we have it will be create install admin password, right? That that is the token. Remember when you are installing Jenkins through uh, through that the particular Jenkins dot war file directly, the path is dot Jenkins. Example currently we have downloaded a Jenkins.war file and I'm running that war file right using Java if and jar Jenkins.war, right? The default path is Jenkins path is dot Jenkins. If you install M command, the default path is Varnip Jenkins. Remember. Okay. What I'm doing here now, go to here, uh, take the public AP. And what is the port number? Paste here 8080. But we haven't enabled the port number, right? So we have to enable how we can enable. Select the particular instance, go to the security group. Okay. Go to the inbound rules, edit inbound rules, add rule. Now here you can give the port number. I'm giving here anywhere. Remember in real time, we won't give anywhere 0.0. .0. It will be give the specific IP range. Okay. Save rule. Now we can refresh this one. Now this particular Jenkins will be up and running. Let's see. Why anything happened? Yeah, Jenkins is fully up and running. Okay. Let me see here. Yeah. See, the password is available in inside dot Jenkins. Okay. If you install using M command, the default path is warlip Jenkins. But when you use install that particular Jenkins using Jenkins dot warfare and run run that particular warfare directly, the path is dot Jenkins. Okay. Copy this one and you can use the cat command. Cat. Okay. Paste here. Now you will get the password. Copy this. And you can come here and if it, here you can paste it, continue. 
Okay. Now it will ask the suggested plugins or uh, plugins to install. I'm selecting this here suggested plugin. Later we, I will show you like how you can install the plugins, everything. Okay. Install suggested plugin. Now it will go into install suggested plugin in this particular server. If you observe here, the our Jenkins server is version is 2.361.4. Okay. It may take a little bit time to complete all install all suggested plugin. But well, now we are going to set up the username and password. Okay. I'm creating the username is Murli. Password also I'm giving the Murli. Okay. And here confirm password. And here our name is Murli Murli already. I'm giving. Okay. I'm giving the uh, mail ID is take world with Murli. And here one more option is there if you observe here. Here, if you want to skip and continue as admin, also you can do, but we are creating the user and save and continue. Okay. Here, the URL is this one. Remember, here the URL is three dot. This is a public IP and uh, port number, right? In real time, we won't access with public IP and port number. We will be accessed like this. Example, the company name is TechWorld with Murli. Okay. TechWorld with Murli.com, the domain name. Okay. TechWorld with Murli.com. Okay, so the Jenkins URL will be like this Jenkins dot tech with Murli. Okay, TECH. Okay, and here before it will be HTTPS. HTTPS is nothing but hypertext transfer protocol secure. Okay, you can access like this instead of uh, we are accessing through IP address, public IP, and port number, we will be accessed like this. Remember this point in real time. We will be accessed through fully called for domain name only. But our practice purpose, we are logging with time and access with public API. But in real time, we won't do like that. Okay. Save and finish. Start using Jenkins. Okay. Now, if you see here, Jenkins, this is the Jenkins dashboard. And again, I'm telling we won't directly run the Jenkins or file in real time. It is not recommended way also. But some of the times might be interviewable. They may ask questions like, uh, we have a Jenkins worker. Can we run and install the Jenkins? Yes, we can do it also. Okay. What is the default path? Dot Jenkins directly is the default path when you are when you are installing the Jenkins using Jenkins worker. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next video.